Hello everyone, Jennifer Maker here. It's a beautiful day to learn how to decorate glasses with layered vinyl designs. These glass cans have gotten super popular and it's easy to see why. They're so cute and versatile with the option to decorate them with vinyl or even sublimate certain types that have the right coating. Today, I'll show you how to decorate glass cans using layers of permanent vinyl to create beautiful full color designs like these cute hearts here. They're so cute. And these adorable sunflowers. I'm giving you both designs free today. I'll show you every step from start to finish, and then I'll share my helpful tips on taking care of them so their designs last and last. Now you can use my PDF files to cut these designs out by hand from your vinyl, but I'm gonna demonstrate using a Cricut Maker 3 today to cut the files so they're super precise. You can use any cutting machine that vinyl fits in, which is pretty much everything. Cricut, Maker Joy, Explore. If you're gonna use the original Joy, I've even got a version of that file just for you. It's slightly modified so it will fit on your cutting machine and I'll show you some slight differences in the application later on as well. But basically you can do this project on any machine. And speaking of material, let me fill you in on what you're going to need to make these. First, you'll need some glass cans <laughs> or really any straight sided glasses about this size. These come in clear and frosted, which is just personal preference really. Next, you'll need some colorful vinyl. I'm using yellow and brown and red and white, but you can use any colors you like. That's the fun of doing this yourself. Just make sure you're using permanent adhesive vinyl, not removable or heat transfer vinyl. Okay, you want permanent adhesive vinyl. Now to help layer the vinyl designs and then transfer them to the glasses, you'll need some standard grip transfer tape as well as some parchment paper. Uh, don't worry if you've never used this before, I will show you my easy method for super easy layering using these. There's just a couple other things you'll need and I've got a full list of tools and supplies plus links on where to find them in my materials list. It's over at jennifermaker.com slash 597. That's also where you'll find written instructions with photos and tips too. And if you want to make your own custom glass cans with your own photos, like I've got my pets on here, I've got Chloe and Hunter and Butterscotch, our orange tabby cat, stay tuned to the last step for more details. So are you ready to get started? Let me show you where to get my free files and then we will cut these together. Step one, get my free glass wrap designs. First, download my designs at jennifermaker.com slash 597. You can either download right from that link by saving the project or download from my entire free design collection. To find it, look for libraries in the red bar at the top and then click either get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. Search the page for design number 597 and click the link to download the designs. And if you're not sure how to use these files, go to jennifermaker.com slash svgs to learn how to download and unzip files. In this video, I'll show you how to use a Cricut cutting machine to cut the pieces so they are precise. If you prefer to cut these by hand instead, just skip to step three. There are four designs in the SVG folder, a heart design, and a sunflower design, plus slightly modified versions of each that you can cut on a Cricut Joy. I'll show you how to prepare the hearts design today, but the same directions work for the sunflower design too. Step two, prepare and cut your glass wrap design. Let's start by adding our design to Cricut Design Space. First, I'll click the upload button and then click upload image. Then I'll click browse and find the hearts SVG file. Once you've selected the best design for you, click Upload and then select the new design under Recent Uploads and click Add to Canvas. Now click the Ungroup icon to ungroup the design. I recommend always ungrouping a design after you upload it because it will be grouped by default. If you want to change the colors of the design to match your vinyl, this is a great time to do it. Just click a layer in the Layers panel and then click the color box next to the Operation button at the top of your window and select a new color from the options. 
I like the colors just the way they are though, so I'll click the undo button to revert back and keep them the same. The design is already sized perfectly for the glass cans in my materials list, so there's nothing more to do here. Make sure the correct machine is selected in the top right and then click make. On the prepare screen, make sure the correct material size is selected for your materials. I'm using 12 by 12 inch vinyl, so these are all good to go. Now select the first mat again and then click continue. On the make screen, let's set the base material for our mats. Since we're using permanent vinyl, I'll click browse all materials and search for premium vinyl, permanent glossy. Select it and click done. Now set the pressure to more to ensure really clean cuts. And check the box next to remember material settings to apply these cut settings to the rest of the mats. Place your first mat's vinyl pretty side up on a green standard grip machine mat. My first mat is for my white layer with the flower petals. Use a brayer to make sure the vinyl is fully and evenly adhered to the mat. Check that your premium fine point blade is clean and in the clamp. Then press the flashing load or unload button to load the mat and press the flashing go button to begin cutting. Once the Cricut's finished cutting, unload your mat, flip your mat over onto your work surface and roll it back to release your vinyl. And then continue on loading and cutting your other mats. Trim the excess vinyl away to make the design easier to work with. Leave a half inch to an inch thick border around the cuts. Now grab your weeding tool because it's time to weed the vinyl. Weeding vinyl means you're going to remove the vinyl that we don't need for the design. Using a light box like a Cricut Bright Pad can really help you see the cut lines more easily while weeding. It's totally optional, of course, but it's nice to have. Just place the vinyl face up on the pad and then switch it on. The light shines through the carrier sheet and vinyl, which makes the cuts easier to see, especially on light colored material. Use your weeding tool to carefully lift up a corner of the vinyl outside the design. Slowly peel it back, keeping it nearly parallel with the surface as you go, leaving the design behind on the carrier sheet. If any design pieces lift up, use your weeding tool to carefully tack them back down to the carrier sheet before continuing. Then use the tool to lift or remove any other areas you need to remove, like the insides of the heart cutouts. Here are what the weeded layers of the heart design look like. Step three, apply your glass can wrap. Now that all of our vinyl layers are cut and weeded, it's almost time to apply them to our glass can. But first, we need to layer them. That way we can make sure everything matches up while the materials are straight, before we're dealing with the curved surface of the glass. The vinyl layers apply directly to the glass and do not overlap one another, so their order doesn't matter. To keep it simple, I'll just follow how they're arranged in Cricut Design Space, and the red hearts on the bottom, followed by the white flowers and the yellow metals. And I'm going to show you a special technique to layer vinyl so much easier and more precisely than is normally possible. You're going to love this. I'll explain how to do everything very carefully. So watch it through once and then try it on your own. So grab your first vinyl layer, for me that's red, and put it face up on the light pad again because it really helps with alignment. Now cut a piece of standard grip transfer tape about a half inch longer on each side than your largest vinyl layer. We need it a little bigger than the vinyl to help with layering them later. Peel off the backer to the transfer tape. If it's a new piece of transfer tape, the stickiness might make it tough to apply the designs because it will stick to the glass too much. You can reduce some of the stickiness by patting it with your hands. Turn the transfer tape sticky side down and line it up as straight as you can on the design. If you're using a light box like I am, use it to line up the grid on the transfer tape with the vinyl design. This will help with a straighter application to the glass later too. Now curve the transfer tape's edges up into a U shape or a taco shape as I like to call it and touch its sticky side down under the vinyl center. 
Lower the rest of the transfer tape down onto the vinyl, using your fingers to smooth it out from the center outward. Then use your scraper to burnish the vinyl onto the transfer tape to help it adhere really well. You can flip it over and burnish from the back too. Carefully peel off the vinyl backer, leaving the hearts on the transfer tape. Place the vinyl and transfer tape sticky side up on your work surface. The registration marks are along the bottom of the design, but I had an easier time assembling the layers when I turned them so the stars were along the top. If you're making the Cricut Joy version, your registration marks will be on each side of the design so you can keep it right side up. Now cut a piece of parchment paper just a little larger than your largest vinyl design, minus the star registration marks. Using the taco method again, apply the parchment paper to the design on the tape, but leave the star registration marks uncovered. On the Cricut Joy version, your parchment paper should cover the main part of the design, but not the stars on either end. Now set it aside. Then grab your second vinyl design layer, I'll use the white piece, and place it face up on your work surface, turn so the stars are across the top again. Now grab the hearts layer and position it parchment paper side down over the flower petals layer, lining up the stars. When they're lined up as precisely as possible, press the top layer stars down onto the bottom layer stars, then smooth the transfer tape down with your fingers. Press the top of the transfer tape, the part that's not attached to the vinyl sheet, onto your work surface. This part will stay in place and act like a hinge if you lift the rest of the top layer up. Isn't that cool? Now fold back the hinge and peel off the parchment paper at the top of the upper layer. Lower the first layer of vinyl down onto the second layer, starting at the top by the hinge and smoothing down. If the registration marks stayed together, the rest of the design will be lined up perfectly. Starting with the bottom middle, use your scraper to burnish outward. And there we go, we have successfully layered our first two layers. It's already looking good. Now peel up the stack and flip it over so the backer is facing up. You can burnish the back of the second layer to help it transfer to the tape. Now peel off the backer, leaving the second vinyl design on the transfer tape. Grab the piece of parchment paper that you used before and using the taco method again, apply it to the vinyl layers, once again, leaving the star registration marks uncovered. Grab the third layer of the design, in my case, the yellow centers of the flowers. Just like the other layers, lay it down with the stars across the top. Hold the hearts and petals over the third layer, parchment side down, and line up the stars. When they're lined up as precisely as possible, lower the assembled layer stars down onto the stars on the third layer underneath. Fold back on the hinge and peel away the parchment paper. We're almost there. Flip the hinge closed and smooth the layers together with your fingers. Then starting with the bottom middle, use your scraper to burnish outward. The layers are now completely and officially combined. Don't they look cool? Peel up the layers from your work surface, fold them over and burnish everything from the back to make sure they're stuck really well to the transfer tape. Cut the excess tape and backing off around the edges of the design, leaving about an eighth of an inch border. Trim the ends especially close to the vinyl pieces so they won't overlap when we wrap it around the glass. Now since the stars have served their purpose in helping us line up the layers, you can cut those off as well. Now use a coffee filter or another lint-free cloth and a little alcohol to clean the outside of your glass can to remove any skin oils and lint because they will interfere with the application of your vinyl. Now we're ready to apply the layered vinyl design to the glass. To begin, tear off four pieces of painter's tape about two inches long and set them aside. We want to check the alignment before sticking anything to the glass, so hold the backing on the glass with the design oriented correctly. Wrap the design around the glass. 
If you used a light box to align the design with the grids on your transfer tape, use the grid to help line up the design straight on the glass. You can compare it to the top for reference. To secure it, take one piece of painter's tape and apply it to the top center of the design so the tape is touching the glass on the top. Then smooth the design straight down the glass so it doesn't shift and apply another piece to the bottom of the design below the first. Make sure it touches the glass on the bottom of the cup. Now rotate the glass to where the ends of the design meet. Gently pull one edge so the design is flat against the glass and straight. Then add tape to the top and bottom edges, securing it to the glass. On the loose side of the wrap, peel back the backer from the vinyl until you reach the middle where the painter's tape is. We're now ready to stick it down, so trim off the backing material close to the painter's tape. Beginning next to the painter's tape, gently pull the wrap so it will remain straight and lay it back down into place, tacking it down to the glass in the center first. Now from the center of the tape outward, use your thumbs to smooth out the rest of the transfer tape onto the glass. Turn the glass as you apply the wrap. You can use your large scraper tool to help smooth it down too. Now let's apply the rest of the design. Remove all four pieces of painter's tape from the transfer tape and glass because the wrap that is in place will keep everything else positioned correctly. And just like the first side, pull back some of the backer at the center of the design, then starting at the center and moving outward, use your fingers or your scraper tool to smooth out the transfer tape onto the glass, peeling the backer back as you go. Once the whole design has been applied to the glass, use your scraper tool to burnish it down. Be careful not to use too much pressure or you might actually break the glass, so be cautious here. Starting at one corner, slowly peel off the transfer tape, making sure you're not pulling away any of the vinyl off the glass. Step four, show it off. Here are what my finished layered vinyl glasses look like. These are so much fun to give as gifts or make a matching set for home. Step five, customize it. If you love this glass wrap project, but wish you could customize one with your own photo, you can. I have a way that you can do that. I'll teach you how to modify the files to include a photo as part of the design through a special program I have called Advance with Jennifer Maker. The Advance program helps you advance your crafting skills by teaching you how to make these popular and fun designs unique and customized to you through special tutorials and templates, as well as give you advanced access to my vast library of designs, projects, and resources. Now, I may or may not be accepting new members into the Advanced program at the time you're watching this video, but if you're interested, go to jennifermaker.com slash advance to learn more and see how it all works. These are so fun. With spring and summer, hopefully on the way, <laughs> any day now, these are great for holding a nice cold drink while you relax or, let's be real, while you're crafting. <laughs> now to keep them looking their absolute best, I want you to hand wash your glass cans with warm water and a mild dish soap and then gently towel dry them or let them air dry. I do not recommend you wash them in the dishwasher or soak them in water because that can cause the vinyl to lose its holding power over time. Now, if you need any help at all with this project, there are reference photos in my tutorial over at jennifermaker.com 597 that may really help you out. If you have any questions about working with adhesive permanent vinyl, questions about using your Cricut cutting machine, or anything else craft related that you think I can help you with, please let me know. You can leave your question below this video or ask over at our Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. And share your photos too, I'd love to see them. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love. <music>